Ethereum dumps nearly 9% from highs of $2,145, but is this dump going to continue or are we going to see a sharp bounce back up to the upside? In today's episode, we're going to look at some news as well as technical analysis to give you some key indications of exactly where Ethereum is heading in the coming hours and days. Hello guys and welcome to the House of Crypto. I make videos about Ethereum, Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. If you want to be kept up to date with all the latest realistic TA happening on Ethereum, then make sure you hit that like and subscribe button as then you'll be notified when all of the time sensitive information comes out when it happens. So as you've probably been seeing in the last couple of days, uh, here's this is over here on Bloomberg. Ether reaches record after Visa move. Uh, there was Mark Cuban making comments about Ethereum. Uh, being the ultimate cryptocurrency where the big, some of the biggest gains are going to be seen and a lot of hype coming up and yet we've just seen the price crash nearly 9%. Is that something that we should be really worried about as Ethereum holders or is it something that actually is quite normal and we should be expecting? Uh, over here on Cointelegraph, 38% Ethereum futures premium signal traders anticipate a $2,500 ETH and yet again we haven't really been seeing it. Now, there's one thing I want to draw your attention to on this story. This can be really relevant to give us a bit of a clue about what might happen and something we should be aware of with Ethereum. Now, Ether's price broke the $2,000 level, hitting all-time highs this week. Traders become excessively bullish and are expecting more upside in the short term. Now, why do I want to draw your attention to the term excessively bullish? Uh, this is the Wall Street cheat sheet, which we haven't looked at for a while, but actually we've looked at in the past. Uh, when we saw that big dump about a couple of months ago. And one thing I want to sort of make you aware of is when everyone becomes excessively bullish, this is when people are starting to kind of get in towards the sort of thrill and euphoria phase. Now, I don't think we're there yet, and I think Ethereum has got further to go. I'm going to look at some charts in a minute, and I'm going to tell you exactly where Ethereum is going to go in the coming day. Uh, however, you know, whenever everyone's starting to get super bullish on it thinking that it can never go down this is always a bit of a danger dangerous point and the reason that is is when everyone is buying something or everyone is betting on it going long it can become very volatile okay so the smallest dip uh, can actually like liquidate big accounts people are over leveraging themselves putting in these huge trades and once people start getting leverage we get that snowball effect and this is why when last time it hit around two thousand dollars it was really really overbought we saw it plummet all the way back down to sort of something like $1,400, okay? So it's always something to be aware of. Think about what everyone is saying. When everyone is saying, go long, 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 you know, this is when actually maybe we should be start questioning ourselves, okay? And always make sure that you're not over leveraging yourselves using stop losses if you're day trading, and also, you know, not putting in any more than you can afford to lose. Also, another good thing to, to do is like keep fear available so that if you do get a bit of a dump, then it's not, you know, not the end of the world. We can just buy in lower, and then this brings down our cost price average. However, I'm not saying right now that Ethereum is gonna go down because I don't believe it is. And we're gonna look at the charts right now and I'm gonna tell you exactly where I think Ethereum is going in the short term. Okay, so looking at the Ethereum, this is over here on the daily. So this was saw a couple of days ago, we had this big break up to $2,150. Now this is a diagram of an ascending triangle, which we've seen play out, and we've been seeing it play out for the last sort of couple of months or so. And as you can see, and what I want to draw your attention to is this part here. Now, typically, it doesn't always happen. Nothing always happens in trading. But we get things that happen more often than not. And what we see here is this big drop down. Now, in most cases, it will tend to come down to the level of, uh, to the, level of the breakout. And actually, this is the ideal trading situation. And where we are right now, literally as we speak, is the ideal trading situation. Because it comes down, and this previous line of resistance... As we know, lines of resistance become support. And once it becomes support and it holds above that line, then that's when we're going to be most likely to see the big push to the upside. Okay, so jumping back to the chart, as you can see, we had this uh, we had this week down. Let's jump into a bit closer onto the four hour. This shows a bit more clearly what's happened over the last sort of day or so. And yet we've we've come back down. We wicked down. We came out, bounced back up, and we've had this big drop. Now, in terms of whether I would be longing right now, personally. This, this candle that we see here is a very bullish looking candle. However, until that candle closes and makes the next candle, then I'm not really interested in trading it. Now, the ideal setup is that we would have this candle drop down and wick below, which is kind of currently wicked down to perfectly. 
And then we would look for a bullish engulfing candle. Now, what would a bullish engulfing candle look like? Uh, we would have another green candle come up the other side that is bigger than the body of this candle, okay? So we get the bullish engulfing. This is a perfect example here. In fact, where we had that breakout from the other triangle and we bounced up and we had this big green bar put in here against this smaller candle, which you know shows where it's been rejected and then the big green push to the upside. Now, as I mentioned a couple of days ago, obviously today is Easter day, so happy Easter and another festival going on in China at the moment. You know, there's probably not a huge amount of volume and I mentioned before that although, uh, although, although we are gonna see a breakout, it potentially wouldn't happen that fast because we do need good volume. So what we do tend to need now is a bit of volume to come into the market, but because the overall trend is bullish, you don't tend to need huge buyer volume to be able to push it in faster moves to the upside. If it was to be a reversal, then you tend to need big kind of sell volume to come in for that to happen. Now, where's this uh, Where's this pattern gonna break out to? What can, what target can we expect to see in the coming, uh, in the coming hours or coming days? Now, obviously it depends exactly on the point I made about volume, uh, but where we are right now with regards to uh, to a breakout, if we jump out to the daily, it'll be a bit clearer. And we already mentioned yesterday, but in case you weren't here for that video, we take the height of this triangle here, which, I, which is also pretty much the height of this W pattern, which has also played out nicely. And we would come up to the breakout point, which is about here, and that would take us all the way up to about two, 2630 okay which keeps in play inside this big channel but you know as i mentioned if we think back to the wall street cheat sheet once it gets over to these levels i'm not saying go and go and sell up but you know this is something to be aware of you know i can't see it realistically breaking through this top band so if it was to shoot up very fast and it was to come up to this barrier that's pretty much where i would be closing trades and selling up because i don't believe necessarily that it's going to break through there and go into another sort of parabolic run as we speak uh, I might be wrong, go and do your own research, obviously trading is risky, uh, never bet more than you can afford to lose. But as we speak, you know, since I've started making this video, it's gone back up another $20. So that's, that's you know, obviously very positive. If we can continue to hold this four hour above this red line and have another engulfing candle, then that is a perfect, perfect trading setup in my opinion. Guys, hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you're new to the channel and you're an Ethereum holder and you enjoy my content, then please hit that like button. It really helps the YouTube algorithm deliver these videos to more people and consider subscribing. You can always unsubscribe if you don't enjoy the content, but my aim is to keep you as up to date as possible with all of the latest happening in Ethereum as well as other cryptocurrencies. Thanks very much. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Happy Easter and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.